Okay, I'm on page um, four. This was the question yesterday that you should have finished up on your own. Um, we're gonna move on to circles. We're gonna look at the equations of circles and how to graph circles. The equations of all circle are in this, of all circles are in this form. R stands for the radius, and your radius goes from the center of your circle to one edge of your circle all the way around. H and K represent your center point. So if you want to write out the equation of a circle or graph a circle, you need the center point and you need to know the radius. You need to know the distance from the center to one side of the circle, which is the same all the way around. So down here for these four questions, they give us the center point, they give us the radius, and we're going to route the equation in this form. This, the center point, is your H and K value that you're going to plug in. Um, however, whenever you use H and K, you always change the signs. So it's going to become x minus 2 squared, because the 2 is going to become negative 2, plus y plus 4 squared, because the negative 4 becomes a positive 4, equals r squared. So the radius is 4, and if I square that, 4 squared is 16. So there's my equation for the first one. If I do the second one, here's my h and k, it's going to become x plus 7 squared, because the negative turns into a positive 7, and then y minus 1 squared equals 15 squared, which is 225. The next one, this will become x minus 3 squared plus 1 minus 0 squared equals, so the 3 becomes a negative, and the zero, you can't change the sign of zero, but I'm keeping it as a minus sign like it is in the original equation. And if you square one third, you get one over nine. If you put this in your calculator, make sure you have parentheses around the one third and the square is outside your parentheses. All right, next one is gonna become x plus five squared, y plus three squared equals Again, if you want to square this in your calculator, it needs to look like this, parentheses. Put that in your calculator, you should get 18 when you square it. So that's writing the equation of a circle. Now if you go to the next page, we are going to graph it. So in order to graph it, you need your center point and you need your radius. Your center is your H and K, which is inside your parentheses. Well, since they have no numbers inside parentheses, that means the center would be 0, 0 at our origin. So I'm going to plot the center point. Now, to get the radius, remember it's in the form r squared. So the radius is whatever you square to get 36, which would be 6, because 6 squared gives you 36. <clears throat> also, if you don't know that, you can always do the opposite of squaring something which would be taking the square root. If you take the square root of 36, you get six, which is your radius. So now that we have our center point, if our radius is six, I'm gonna count up six and plot another point, and I can do that in each direction because the radius is the same all the way around my circle. So I'm gonna go to the left six, I'm gonna go down six, and to the right six. And then you draw your circle, which usually doesn't look very pretty, but it works. All right, <clears throat> the next one, the center would be the opposite of H and K. So this is your H, this is your K. When you use H and K, you always have to take the opposite. So it's gonna become positive three and positive four. And if you take the square root of 25, you get five because five squared gives you 25. So five would have to be our radius. So I'm gonna plot my center point over three of four, and then I'm gonna count five all the way around my center point. And there's my circle.
All right. Let's go to the last page. Um, these you can do on your own. This is what we just did. You're gonna identify what the center is and the radius, and then you're gonna sketch your circle. But down here, I wanna do um, at least one of these together. So they give us the equation, and they give us a point, and we're determining if that point is on our circle, on the inside of our circle, or on the outside of our circle. So this is not our center point. This is not H and K. Instead, if I look at my equation, there's no numbers next to X and Y, so my center point is technically at zero, zero. That's my H and K. So instead, this is just X and Y. This is just a point on your graph. So I'm gonna take X and Y and substitute it in to my equation. So instead of X, I'm gonna put five squared, plus, instead of Y squared, it's gonna be negative three squared equals 34. If I simplify this, five squared is 25, negative three squared is positive nine. 25 plus nine is 34. So I'm left with 34 equals 34. Since that's true, that means it is on the circle. So if you were to graph your circle, this point, oh gosh, it's not a very good circle. <laughs> this point would be somewhere on your actual circle because it came out to be a true statement. All right, let's try the next one. So this is my X and Y. So if I plug that in, it's gonna be four squared plus four squared equals 34. And four squared plus four squared is 32. So I'm left with 32 equals 34. So since 32 is less than 34, this means this point is inside the circle. If it was greater than what it equals to, if it was like 35 and 34, then it'd be outside your circle. So let me know if you have any questions and you need to complete the exit ticket.